I'm Romel Carlos. I'm currently managing the Sustainable Energy Finance Program for the Mekong region uh, under the International Finance Corporation, which is part of the World Bank Group. Different economies will have different approaches. Uh, for countries like the Philippines, where in the drivers are pretty obvious, you have the highest cost of energy. Uh, for for uh, an, a small or medium enterprise to be competitive, you have to reduce that cost. For them, the top-down uh, policy approach is not necessary. What you see are uh, companies doing it because they see the business case. But once the company uh, do, does all these kinds of things, what's important is you could provide an overlying policy uh, to, to help more or less uh, replicate all those activities. A uh, classic example right now is, the, is, is what we do with the, the Sustainable Energy Finance Program in the Philippines. There, uh, commercial banks, Bank of the Philippine Islands, BDO, China Bank, is doing it because they see the business case and helping their clients uh, basically improve their operating costs. But on the other side, you see the likes of the Climate Change Commission or even the, the, the Department of Budget we're in, why can the, if the private sector could do it in their, in their, in their uh, facilities, why can't we do it in the public sector? But the problem is, typically the, the, the public sector will say, we don't have funds to do the retrofits for buildings. What happens now is that there are energy service companies who are willing to do the retrofits uh, for the public buildings. There are banks who are willing to fund the, the ESCOs. What's important is the government putting skin on the game by guaranteeing payments to the ESCOs. This is still an, uh, an ongoing discussion, but you will see the, 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 the ripple effect of the private sector doing it. On the other side, you have the likes of Vietnam. Uh, in countries like this, what's important is that you work hand in hand with the government. Uh, Drivers are totally different uh, here. Uh, energy is quite subsidized. But the thing is, you have an export-driven market. So how do you catalyze uh, this kind of market? You have to help the government basically helping the private sector companies uh, be competitive in the global market. You do that by providing uh, uh, comfort, whether it's tax holidays, audits, trainings, or what have you. But at the same time, uh, other than the carrot, you have to put the stick, which is basically the regulation. And in here, uh, the goal of the government, for example, in the energy efficiency space, is to reduce uh, consumption for the likes of, say, cement, uh, textile, and chemicals uh, by 10% by 2050. So in doing so, you have a push up there but on the other side, you have the private sector uh, uh, adhering to these policies.